This video covers rounding and significant figures, an important concept in IB Maths AI in Topic 1, Number and Algebra. It's an important concept as often IB exam questions will ask to leave your answer either to a certain number of decimal places, I have summarized that as DP, or a certain number of significant figures. So you may have done all of the hard work and get your final answer, which is correct, but then you don't wanna make a mistake just writing that final line on your exam paper. So it's important to have confidence of this particular skill. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate it with a couple of examples here and then talk about the theory which is listed on the left-hand side as we go through it. So let's start with this first number here, 62,562.3418. Let's round this to two decimal places and then three significant figures. Okay, two decimal places. The way that I like to think about it is let's count the numbers after the decimal point. So three and then four, and I want to round the number after the four, or in other words, chop it off. So I'm gonna chop it off after this line here. But before I just go ahead and start chopping, I need to consider what's the next number? Is it small or is it big? And in this case here, the number is small, it's a one. And if I look at the theory on the left-hand side, if it's four or less, if it's small, uh, let it rest, or the proper uh, terminology is to round off. But what that means is I'm not going to change the four here, the number to the left-hand side of this blue line. So rounding, this becomes 62,562.3 and four. I don't uh, increase the four to five, I just leave it as is, I round off. Okay, so there is the first answer. I rounded the number to two decimal places. Let's now round it to three significant figures. Before I do, let's just recap on what a significant figure is, looking at the theory here on the left-hand side. Essentially, all numbers are significant figures apart from leading zeros or trailing zeros when there are no decimal places. Everything else is a significant figure, including zeros between non-zero numbers. So looking at my number here, all of these numbers are significant. I want to round it to three significant figures. So I'm going to be rounding after the third, which is this point here. I want to chop the number off. Uh, but I need to consider the number to the right. It is a six, it is large, five or more. So therefore I'm going to round the five to the left of uh, the blue line up one. So this becomes 62,600. Now you may be wondering, well, where did these two zeros come from? I need to put the zeros there, otherwise my number would be 626. Now that clearly isn't a, is a, ver, that isn't a very good rounded number from the original 62,562. So rounding this number essentially gives an approximation. It's like uh, how many spectators are at a big sporting event, 62,562. Well, I don't really care about the, the little numbers. I just really care about, well, roughly how big. And this is a good example of roughly how many people are there, 62,600. It wouldn't be a very good uh, rounded option if I said there are 626 people at the stadium. Okay, that's the first number complete. Let's now try the second number, which is a much smaller number. This is 0 0.005826. Okay, let's firstly round this to two decimal places. Well, this is the first decimal place. This is the second. So I want to chop the number off here. I need to consider the number to the right of the blue line. That is five, it is a big number. So therefore the zero, the number to the left of the blue line, will round up by one. So this becomes 0 0.01. Let's now round this number to three significant figures, but just be careful, these zeros are leading zeros, so they are not significant figures. So this five is the first sig fig, the eight is the second, the two is the third, so I want to round this number at, uh, at this line here. Again, I consider the six, it is a large number, so the two will round up. So this becomes 0 0.00583. So you can see there, there's a big difference between rounding to two decimal places and three significant figures. So you can see here why it's important to understand this skill, otherwise your answer might vary a lot from what the examiner is trying to look for. Okay, that completes the examples. Let's now try an IB exam question to test our knowledge on this skill. 
So we have a question here involving the volume of a cuboid. We have answered part A, part B asked to write our answer to part A to both two decimal places and three significant figures. And you can see here it's worth two marks. So let's go ahead with the first part of part B. I want to round this number to two decimal places. The second decimal place is the zero here, 0 0.408. The eight is a large number, so therefore the zero will round up by one. So this becomes 369.41. Let's now try to write our answer to three significant figures. Well, the three is the first sig fig, the six is the second, the nine is the third, but I need to consider the next number. The next number is a four, it is a small number, so therefore the nine will round off, it'll stay as is. So this will become 369. Okay, great, we have tried this on an IB exam question, that looks good, and that right there concludes our video on rounding and significant figures.